that to explain our experience that, uh, you know, comparing the accuracy of uh, exact view uh, micro ultrasound machine against a mapping biopsy, uh, a small number of mapping biopsy patients. I have no disclosures. The learning objectives are the limitations of current imaging modalities to diagnose prostate cancer. Multiparametric MRI being one of the uh, more promising ones currently available. And then the need for real-time diagnosis, uh, and, and then hopefully compare these micro ultrasound lesions versus the histopathology data of mapping biopsy. Uh, the conventional ultrasound uh, use three to six megahertz probes, and we can visualize the anatomic boundaries, but actually have very little success visualizing uh, prostate cancer lesions, and it is very cost effective. Uh, on the other side, you have multiparametric MRI where you can actually identify some of these uh, cancer lesions, especially high-grade uh, clinically significant lesions. If they are fairly large, there's a good chance you can pick it up on uh, MPMRI. And very recently, they came up with a scoring system, uh, Pirates version 2, to you know, classify these lesions they see in uh, uh, multiparametric MRI, the Pirates 3, 4, and 5 being the most important ones, and uh, Pirates 5 has a very high accuracy picking up uh, prostate cancer lesions. <clears throat> and this is our experience, you know, comparing some multiparametric data with a uh, mapping biopsy cohort, and we found that uh, about 16 to 47 percent clinically significant cancer, th these are the lesions, maybe not diagnosed by MRI, and uh, the negative predictive value of this device may not be sufficient to completely rule out clinically significant cancer. And the technology remains in evolution, and this is one of the uh, things I wanted to show you that, you know, this, these two patients have negative MRIs, and, but they have Gleason 8 and Gleason 7 cancers, and, you know, these lesions were larger than half for CC. So now uh, the exact view have introduced this new ultrasound machine, uh, it operates at 29 megahertz and uh, provide real-time diagnosis of prostate cancer lesions, have a very high resolution, 70 microns. <coughs> and <coughs> the issue is the resolution can be divided into two categories, the lateral and the axial. And uh, lateral resolution depends on the thickness of the ultrasound beam and, you know, easy to achieve for narrow beams at very high frequencies. But when you achieve that, the depth, the pen depth of penetration becomes, you know, far less. Now, this is uh, a video from their website. Uh, you know, they're targeting a lesion, a cancer lesion from, uh, uh, for biopsy purposes. And this Gleason 8 lesion, you can clearly see like a dark patch. But, you know, you will need some training to identify these lesions on micro ultrasound scanners. Here is another patient. Um, uh, they have done a, a, a MRI and then also the ultrasound, <coughs> micro ultrasound lesions in, you know, shown in here comparatively. And, and then they also compare this with the, uh, after the prostatectomy, these green areas represent the lesion. And it has a Gleason 4 pattern, pattern 4 and a pattern 5 lesions here that was identified both on MRI and uh, on micro ultrasound. So we look at uh, three patients, uh, age uh, 6 to 74, PSA 1.9 to 6, who was going to have uh, uh, transperineal mapping biopsy. And one patient had MRI outside our university, our hospital, and was diagnosed with a, a PIDRSCO5 lesion. <coughs> and the micro ultrasound lesions were classified using the PRIMA score, which is uh, <coughs> prostate risk identification using micro ultrasound scores. Again, it's very similar to the PIRATE score. The four, three, four, and five are the most important scores. And you know, when we were doing this, we had the help of the, the technicians from ExactView. They came down and took the, uh, the scans, and they were able to identify the suspicious lesions. And as you can see, they have identified all these things on various uh, uh, anatomical segments of the prostate. And then they provided us with a 3D image of the final uh, diagnosis so we can compare in 3D where the actual lesions are. So on the left-hand side, you can see the, for one of the patients, they provided this 3D image, and the red is a Prima score 5, and the orange is a Prima score 3, uh, 4, and, and then the yellow right here is the Prima score uh, 3. 
And on the right hand side, you have the histopathology data and you can see uh, grade group two cancer is in green and, and then uh, grade group one is in yellow. And it has a very good correlation in uh, lesion wise. And the microultrasound lesions are slightly overestimate the region and you can see if you compare the actual lesion, they are slightly smaller, but, but they have a good agreement. And here's another one, another second case, that there's a lesion uh, eight lesion here, and, uh, and, and then you can see on the apical view and the mid view and the base view, they have identified all of these lesions. And this is the uh, pirate score five patient, and here is the lesion they identified here on the microultrasound, and, and then here is the lesion here on the histopathology data of the mapping biopsy patient. So we actually tabulated the results there's a good agreement with the grade group two and uh, two positives, and there were a few fa false positives. The, they missed a couple of lesions, gle uh, grade group two lesions at the very bottom here, left apex anterior, which I, we call as a false negative. Uh, these lesions were less than 0.1 cc, uh, cc, and you know, so there may be some issues with the resolution regarding smaller lesions. Uh, the results, the, the Prima score four and five, just like Pirates four and five, consistently identify grade group two or higher lesions. And uh, uh, Prima score four and five have almost 100% sensitivity at the patient level and 80% sensitivity at the lesion level. And <clears throat> the two undiagnosed uh, uh, lesions were very small. And uh, takeaway, it demonstrates the potential of uh, clinical utility for diagnosis of high-grade prostate cancer in real time. Uh, Prima score four and five consistently identified these high-grade cancers and uh, potential use <coughs> with or without MRI for lesion-directed trust-guided biopsy procedures. The only caveat is uh, the urologist will need some training to identify these suspicious lesions. Thank you.